Hello friends! Tonight we are having salmon for dinner. Bennett has been asking for a while to have lemon salmon. We typically do it in the oven. The last time I made the salmon into shish kebabs, this is old salmon. This is June of 2021 salmon. We are so close to fresh salmon. I'm finding that it's best to cut it into chunks and make it into shish kebabs. So we're gonna do that again tonight because last time they turned out fabulous. I'm also gonna be roasting some vegetables and maybe if I have time making some mashed potatoes to go along with it. So let's get cooking. All right, these are king salmon, which are the most gigantic salmon. Hopefully I can find some pictures here of when we caught these because they are some big fish and they taste so good fresh. They continue to taste good uh, now, but you have just not quite as good as fresh. We freeze them in these Ziploc bags because when we package them, we are usually at the cabin or out on a river and don't have a vacuum sealer with us. Oh, vacuum sealer. It's a thing that sucks all the air out of a bag. Oh, Miss Luna smells the fish. You guys know she loves fish. Hello, kitty. As long as you stay down there, it's okay. So my parents are back in town in Alaska and I was telling them I was making salmon for dinner and I wanted to make it into shish kebabs again. And my dad told me a trick. So we're gonna try a new trick with the shish kebabs tonight to help them not be so hard to cook. I'll show you when we get there. I also got out an extra package because they are going to join us for dinner. Little pieces of sashimi here. Okay, so right here, I've got to cut around these bones. You, sometimes you can just pull them out. Other times they are stubborn and don't like to come out. They look like they're coming out pretty easy, so I may just be able to pull them out this time. When the meat is really fresh, they like to just stick in there. But this time, they're coming out nice and easy, so. Yes, Weston. Oh, Luna, stay down. I know it smells so good. It's not for you though, sweetie pie. I think I got all the bones out of there, which doesn't usually happen. I usually have to cut them out or we just cook it with them in there and then um, they come, you know, you just avoid them while you're eating. But this like meat gave, a, gave them up pretty easy. Like oh, did I miss like one? That. I did miss one. Well, my leg. Like all right, there's our pile of fish bones to throw away. <laughs> I just remembered I bought this helmet for Westy and he's trying it on. It looks really good. You're set for, for it, summer. And for Easter, but my Easter basket was too, too full. This basket was too full. Oh, oh my Minecraft. You're going to try on your Minecraft it's helmet? Minecraft. Yeah. It is. It's a creeper. All right, I have three lemons. We are actually just using the zest of these lemons. We are not going to use the juice. It's just the zest and salt and some oil and it's so good. Well, hopefully it's good. I've never made it this way before. Okay, you just wanna try and make sure that you only get the yellow part of the zest and don't get the white, because that can be pretty bitter. So we've lived in Alaska a long time and my mom came home from visiting a friend over on the East Coast and she had made this salmon for us and it became a quick favorite. It's just funny how you just, get, you just never know where you're gonna get a good recipe from. This is Bennett's favorite salmon. He's been asking for it for a long time. Last time when everybody just loved the salmon, he just was like, eh, it's okay. So hopefully this one will hit the spot tonight. The more lemon zest it seems like, the better. Since we're just using the zest of the lemon, I'll probably put Bennett here in charge of turning these into lemonade. I was just thinking that. He was just thinking that. We were on the same page. I decided to grab a fourth lemon because I don't know if we can have too much lemon. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. And then I've got this Redmond Real Salt in here. Um, when they're about done, I might add a little bit of like bigger salt, but we'll see. 
I'm not sure what the uh, measurements are since I'm not sprinkling it. I've just always just sprinkled a nice layer of coarse salt. But since we're doing them on the grill, I don't know. I'm just Can trying to. Maybe try that. On the Traeger, yep. All right, here is where my dad's tip comes into play. In the past, when we've made shish kebabs, we just have put them on one skewer. And then when you try and flip the salmon, it just like turns in a circle. So dad said that we need to use two skewers so that you can then flip it. So we're gonna test that out today. Now we have a Traeger, so I don't think that we need to soak the skewers because there's no actual flames. It's just getting smoked, but I could be wrong. Maybe we're gonna test out some different ways to do this. Oh, please don't hit the camera. Okay, now that we got that, I'm gonna put this second skewer through one piece at a time. things out a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's see how that works. This time I'm gonna try and do them both from the beginning. We'll see how that works. Oopsies. All right, next up, I'm just gonna be cutting up a bunch of veggies to put in the oven and roast because what goes better with salmon than just a bunch of roasted veggies? It's gonna be so tasty. I could also do these on the Traeger. Maybe I could do that. We'll see. We'll see what I choose tonight. Gonna add a bunch of salt. I actually am gonna try and roast these on the Traeger with the salmon just because that'd be cool to not even have to turn on the oven. All right, in case you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the Traeger, a Traeger is a wood pellet grill. So it doesn't actually have any flames. It has wood pellets on the side that burn and then it smokes the food. And it's more like a little oven and then adds smokiness. So I'm gonna put my kebabs down here on the bottom, but then I'm gonna roast my veggies up here on a sheet pan, just like I would in the oven. And th I think it's gonna be awesome. So over here, like I said, we have the pellets down in there. They get ground up and burned. You have your temperature control right here. So right now it is heated to 274 and it needs to get up to 350 degrees. One of the really cool things about this version of the Traeger is that it is digital, so you can get it, you can change the temperature on your phone to go up or down. Mark can control it from his work if he's doing something on it while he's at work. So they're a bit pricey, but they have taken our food game up a huge notch. We love it. All right, the Traeger is up to heat now. I'm going to add these shish kebabs. All right, so I was gonna make regular potatoes, but our potatoes are now seed potatoes that are gonna go be planted out in our garden. They just all, there's no nutrition left in them. They all have huge sprouts. So I'm going to cook up these sweet potatoes, which as I'm cutting into them need to be used too. So I'm gonna put these in the Instant Pot, do mashed sweet potatoes with some water and add some goodies at the end. I think it's gonna be yummy. You guys, I wish you could smell this. The smoke and the lemon. Now is the time we get to see if grandpa's trick worked. So much easier, but I do need to go get my little uh, finger oven mitts. All right, I wasn't sure what I would use these little Pampered Chef um, mitts for, but they've come in really handy on moving things on the grill.
these are looking beautiful and charred. I want to get this closed pretty quickly so we can keep it up at temperature. Move these around a little bit. All right. We'll come back and check on them in a few more minutes. All right, I'm just gonna be checking on the salmon here. See if it's done. I think it's done. It looks and smells amazing. And then we're gonna try a piece here. Oh my goodness. That is so good. This is a winner. So I had a piece of parchment on this when it was raw, so now it's clean and I can put the shish kebabs on it. Look at the fat that came off of those. <laughs> All right, now that these are done, I upped the heat so that those veggies can keep cooking. I think I'm just gonna go eat these plain because they're so good. Bennett is going to make us some lemonade. We're using our recipe called Lemon Water Punch, which uses citric acid, lemon extract. This time we're adding fresh lemon juice, water, ice. Um, Bennett, you've been wearing this hat a lot lately. Can you tell everybody what this hat is from? Hunter's Head. Oh, did you just get lemon juice in your eye? <laughs> what is it from? Hunter's Head. Hunter's Education. So Bennett had to take a Hunter's Education course to make sure what? What do they teach you in that? And I'm a safe hunter. So you know what, how to handle a gun. He had to take a shooting test and get it in a small grouping. Um, you have to know where on an animal to shoot. What else do they talk about? Different parts of the gun and how to hold it. So uh. Bennett went to a class, Mark took him. He had, well, he did the online portion of the class at home and then he had to go do from like 5 to 8.30 at night. He had to go take a test. Did you have to take a test? He had to take the shooting test. But just finish up the hunter's course and he passed. They had been walking around with these bright orange painted guns through the forest. And they asked him, should you shoot this or not? And they had it, like targets out in the woods. And Is this safe? Is this not safe? And Bennett did great. He was really good. So Bennett got a moose tag for this fall so fall, winter, so he is hoping to shoot his first big animal. He has shot a deer and a bear, bear and some small birds. All right, I'm gonna fill it up with some ice and water. Bennett, will you do three, just do two teaspoons of citric acid this time because we have all that lemon juice. I usually just double it. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. This, I think I may have ruined myself and always wanted it as a kebab. My daughter-in-law told me not to do it. Do a little taste test. Needs another cup. Actually, start with half a cup. All right, when the sweet potatoes are done, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar, some cinnamon, some cream, butter, and salt, and just mash them up. Dinner was excellent. Everyone loved the lemon salmon and the sweet potatoes. The veggies had great smoky flavor from being cooked on the Traeger. I will totally be doing that again. We also talked about making friends from our Manners for Teen book that the boys got for Easter. And as always, recipes and links are listed down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other Alaska cooking vlogs. All right, we finished dinner, we cleaned up the kitchen. Mark noticed that the trash can wouldn't push in and out. He's back here working on it, which means he had to move the fridge, which, have you ever moved your fridge? I do it about once a year, and it's scary what's underneath there, so we're now having, it's like this domino effect of having to do things. And since he had the cabinet door off, I'm scrubbing it because this is the trash cabinet door. It was disgusting, so. 
we're just lamenting the joys of home ownership. Home ownership at the moment. Thank you so much for having dinner with us in this Alaska kitchen. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. Thanks for watching. You got your bike down. Oh, you got my bike? Good, I'm almost done. And add on top of that, the boys are itching to go for a bike ride at the new bike park, so. I'm not itching, we're going. What was that? I'm not itching, we're going. They already have the bikes loaded. That's how much they wanna go. We really did open Pandora's box. I just had to clean out a huge sheet of ice that's growing in the bottom of the fridge like a glacier. Now I'm cleaning the nasty top of the fridge. <laughs> this is how it goes, right? One thing leads to another. Summoning the powers of Thor. Oh, God. <laughs> More hidden treasure. More treasure. Ew! I really need to put cleaning out under the fridge on like a monthly rotation. All right, we're really going this time. Thanks for watching.